please give a huge round of applause for our host of the Space Academy, Jason Isaacs. Hi. Hey. Hi, everyone. You know, as we all know, this planet is a terrible mess. It's all a disaster. Uh, but there may be answers out there for where we can go and what we can do here. And we've got a bunch of absolute geniuses to tell us what's going on out there, how we might get there, how you might get there, uh, and how it's all going to play out. Here we have um, some images of Mercury taken by a spacecraft in 2016. Hopefully you can spot Mercury going across the sun there, everybody. And it's going to zoom out. That's, that's the size of Mercury as you look at it from the Earth. So a tiny, tiny, tiny planet really close to its parent star, as you can just about make it out going across there. There's a test later. You don't get out unless you know all the answers. Hi. What university does Susie come from? Leicester. Nice. Well done, you. We just need to understand, as a society, how important it is that we study the moon, because it affects all of us in our everyday lives without us even knowing. Today I'm going to be telling you about how we make visual effects for space movies, science fiction films. I'm going to talk about this today. What I really, really like about my job is I get to set fire to stuff. Wow! But, you know, like, we know all very uh, organised in a controlled way, but I do test, I test engines so we get huge amounts of fire, setting fire to stuff and to see if it works. It's really good fun. I get a huge amount from listening to the presentations myself. Um, you know, just, just this morning, listening to, to rocket scientists, listening to planetary scientists. They're great social events. It's great to speak to like-minded people um, and just have a lot of fun. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm delighted to be here this afternoon uh, to talk to you a little bit about the future of human space exploration. One of the, the, the first things you notice as you go into space is just the, is how thin the Earth's atmosphere is. Uh, and that first strikes you when you go into the shadow of the Earth. Because by day, you can't really see the Earth's atmosphere. Earth looks beautiful, and you can't really see any signs of human habitation either. But you see this incredibly thin strip illuminated uh, by the sun of, of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, and that's when you think, wow. cosmic pairing, we're going to talk a little bit about the future and we're going to talk a little bit about the past. So please welcome to the stage Dominique Tipper and Sue Nelson. Yes. Hello. Hi there. Science fiction is always at the forefront of representation yeah. because it's set in space. We're kind of a little bit removed from society how it is today. Um, but funnily, funnily enough, I think our show looks more like society how it is today than um, even though it's set in the future. There were a bunch of kids this morning. They probably didn't know what they were coming to see. They all, I think, were amazed and inspired. They met a whole selection of people. Uh, and it suddenly seems accessible and uh, like it's a real world connected with the world that they live in. For everybody who's traveled here today to support Space Rocks, thank you very much. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Yeah.